We are now at Cholula. This is the most sacred of all the places in Anahuac. Here in our pilgrimage to the heart of Anahuac, this was the most sacred of all, all sacred sites where our people came from all over Anahuac uh, to see this. Not exactly this, but what you see at the at the base, as you see on top of uh, this Del Cali, which is incidentally uh, the largest pyramid, as it's called, the largest pyramid in the world by volume. The one in Egypt is taller, but this has more volume. So we have built the largest pyramid, Del Cali, in the world. And again, realize that this was used to be climbed and, and there, there were tunnels going on underneath. And this is also the site of the first major massacre of our people, our leadership. This is where six to 10,000 of our people were massacred by the Spaniards. Six to 10,000 people that were unarmed. Six to 10,000 people that were basically set up for massacre with the help of Malinche. This is a place where you can say this is the beginning of the destruction of our major cities. But you see the church on top as a, as a form of like putting a foot on our heritage. This is a way of spitting on our heritage. This is a way of putting a, a top so that we can't escape uh, from this colonialism. And that's what we of Machica Movement are doing. We're, we're working on helping our people uncover themselves from their European masks, uncover themselves from the chains, to, to liberate themselves uh, as a Nicantlaca people, as an indigenous people, to embrace themselves so that, that we can quicker uh, unmask all of this. And the fact that nobody knew about this, you know, going back a hundred years, uh, you know, this was just a, uh, a hill with a church on top of it. But the Spaniards put the church on there for a reason. It's, it was put there to say, we have defeated you. And what we have to learn is how to say no to them by embracing our, our own heritage, by embracing our history, by embracing our identity as Nigantlaca, as indigenous people, as Mexica, as the people of Anahuac, as a people who are beginning to wake up. And please, we need you to wake up. And once you have woken up, come join us in the labor of, of uh, liberating our people, of educating our people. And if you're not really quite up to that task, take the pilgrimage. You know, whatever part of the pilgrimage you can take, and that might help shake you up and wake you up and, and get you angry enough and give you enough courage to come in and help liberate your people. What you see here is this large tocali that is huge. And what you, what you don't see from out here is the tunnels that run underneath this tocali. And they run at different levels. Different levels. Uh, there's, there's one main level. And then there's levels that break off that go up, up about 20 feet. And then you can see where uh, it, it continues. And then there's other parts of this tunnels where you're walking on the main level what appears to be the main level or what we uh, have access to what the public has access to this main level you walk and then you could also walk down like about another 20 feet this is all closed off but you can see it there's gates that um that 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 um don't let you enter but there's play um there's the lights are turned down where you could you see that you could walk down about 20 feet and then the, the another tunnel continues, another pathway continues, and then you could also see that it breaks off. There's that there's other pathways, other tunnels that continue running that break off from this lower level. And it's overwhelming. Overwhelming in the depth of these tunnels. And then you walk out and then you see what's left. And when you're down in there, you, you feel the sacredness, you feel the holiness about this this site here and once you walk out then you you get a quick reminder of the situation that we're in um and that you see it by this church that's built up there
We're planting seeds through the internet. Since that's kind of the, the new communication tool for the world, that's where this is being uh, disseminated. So this is uh, the classroom. This is the, the inspiration for you. This is uh, the guidance for you. This is uh, something that we hope will get you to see things that you were not able to if see it, before. If it means you just concentrate on your family, that's a good, good start. But from there, try to work on some people in the neighborhood. Share the materials with them. Share the, 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 the ideas you know, that you've picked up. Maybe they don't want to read the, the website. Maybe they don't want to read the books. Show them some videos. Okay? Invite them over to your house uh, uh, for a party, you know, a, 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 a party of knowledge to discuss identity, why we're not Hispanic or Latino, to discuss the basic you know, heritage of our people, going back to the Olmecs and talking about the Mayas and talking about the Mexica and talking about Teotihuacan and then talking about the genocide that killed 95% of our people and how we're 5% that Do have something. survived. Take some actions, intelligent actions, like being part of the work that we're doing here with Mexica Movement. Meaning, okay, at least go to the website, read the material there. If you have a little bit more courage, come and join the, the, the work that we're doing. It's a lot of work. And if, you, if you're nowhere able to uh, be able to do the work with us, pass out the information to your friends, your family. Share that knowledge. Tell them you're not Hispanic, you're not Latino. And knock off this raza and mestizo uh, nonsense also. And well, what do we call ourselves? We can say Nicantlaca. I'm Nicantlaca. Meaning I'm indigenous to this land. We need more people to get involved in what we're doing and what Mexica Movement is presenting, the vision that Mexica Movement is presenting. We need your help in helping us reclaim our indigenous identity.